Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, McDowell. Today is Wednesday, October 26th. I'm Jade Burns, and here are your morning announcements. Today for lunch, we will be having Taco Burger. We would like to welcome all of our shadowing students who will be spending their day here with us here at McDowell Intermediate. Our visitors are from St. George, Our Lady of Peace, Villa, and Walnut Creek. We hope you enjoy your day and have a positive experience. Are you interested in autom automotive technology, cosmetology? How about construction or health assistance? These are just a few of the 18 programs Erie County Tech School has to offer. Come on out and see for yourself. We're having a field trip. The Erie County Tech Field Trip will be scheduled for November 4th. If you would like to go, please sign up in the guidance office to obtain a permission slip. The last day for sign-ups are October 28th. We only have five buses, so seating is limited to, to first-come, first-served basis. All freshmen are encouraged to visit, and any sophomore that is new to our district is also welcome to sign up. See guidance if you have any questions. Picture retakes will be on Friday, October 28th. Picture forms are available on the student information desk at the main office. Students will be called by alphabet the day of pictures to go down to the Little Theater. Attention ski and snowboarders, the ski bu bus is now full. Mr. Finsel will no longer accept money for a seat on the bus. If you would like to still purchase a lift pass, the forms are due to him by October 28th. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Finsel in the front of the gym before school. On Saturday, October 29th will be Erie Otter's Mill Creek Schools Night. Stop by the office for a form. Congratulations to the McDowell Marching Band on their second place finish at Harbor Creek competition this past weekend. The band won the Caption Award for Best General Effect and missed first place just by a tenth of a point. The band continues to impress crowds with their unique show and their powerful sound. Come support the marching band this weekend at the Lakeshore Marching Band Championship. The show will be held at Erie Veterans Memorial Stadium this Saturday. The opening co class competition begins at 7.15 and McDowell will perform at 8 o'clock. Come cheer them on as they perform for their last competition of the season. And now over to Kieran with the weather. Thank you, Jade. As you can see, for today's weather, is looking pretty low with a high of 47 and a low of 40. And we're going to be seeing some rain throughout the day. However, as we move into tomorrow, it's looking a bit higher with a high of 53 and a low of 43, but it's also looking to be some rain. And then finally, as we move into Friday, we're looking at a high of 50 with a low of 45, but only cloudy, no rain for that day. Now I'm going to throw it over to Lead and Seed. Hi, today is USA Day. We'd love to see your outfit, so if you think you have the best outfit, please step by the pledge table in the cafeteria in the last 10 minutes of lunch. Don't forget to sign the pledge banner. Thursday is Ugly Sweater Day. Choose to refuse. Our Lead and Seed group reminds you. Too smart to start. Now over to Josh with a few more announcements. Thank you, Lead and Seed, and great job. Attention students who traveled to the Holocaust Museum last week. As agreed, please submit your reflection letter to Mr. Hoderny or Mr. Anderzak. Your cooperation is appreciated. Attention seniors interested in Mercyhurst University. If you would like to explore the campus, find out about programs, and decide if Mercyhurst University is the right college for you, please sign up in guidance office by October 28, 2016. The tour of Mercyhurst University will occur on Wednesday, November 9th during the school day. The bus to Mercyhurst will depart at 9 o'clock and return to McDowell at 1.30 p.m. Please see Mr. Boyd if you have any questions. Attention any junior who needs a photo retake. Photo retake day is this Friday, October 28th in the auditorium. Juniors will be called to the auditorium alphabetically. Please bring your order form and money if you, if you were not photographed during the original photo day. Extra order forms are in the office or room 219. If you simply dislike your original photo, please bring your photo package with you to retakes. Model UN delegates. Please read your email for important information about the upcoming Model UN Block Meeting and the Gannon General Assembly. Reminder that, that we have work slash test makeup today in room 225. Students could report promptly after the dismissal bell. 
Teachers are asked to have work or test in Mr. Hodgson's mailbox by noon today, labeled with the student name and instructions. All paperwork for Peak and Peak must be turned into Mr. Hayes today. Also, winter sports online registration is open with the family ID. PIAA sports physicals are to be turned into the athletic office only. Any questions, contact the athletic office. I'm Joshua Brock from the TNN News Studio. I hope you have a great day. Preston McDowell play. It is all about winning. In this, this year's game, it's great, it's great to see both schools, schools come together in support of Ian. It's really emotional when we saw Ian come through into our locker room. and uh, It was really shocking. Nobody really had any clue what was going on. and It was a powerful moment for us uh, as a team. Let him know that me and the guys are praying for him and we hope everything goes well. The rival teams coming together is really special. I mean, it's not it's not often that you see two teams that go at it like that come together and really, really bond over something so special with the two people, especially James and Ian. Green is the spinal cord injury color. Pre-game, it was definitely a different kind of feeling. It was, it was, it was sad, but I mean, we were all excited to be there. It was pretty sad. He lost a lot of weight, and I cried before the game, but had to bring it together. Uh, it was really special having Ian there watching us play. I mean, we definitely wanted to go out there, get a win for him. We knew how, how much he's passionate about this game. And I mean, he's, he's your brother. You want to go out there and get a win for him. And he's one of the, the best guys you can ever meet, one of the funniest people in the world. And to see something like this happen to him, it's, it's really tragic. But you know he's the right guy that can fight through this injury. And he, if anybody else can get through it, it's definitely Ian. Ian's injuries brought the community together in thousands of different ways. You see all these fundraisers, people wearing wristbands, putting stickers on their car. I mean, everybody's, everybody's rooting for him. There's no, there's no sides when it comes to the battle that he's fighting right now.